or you, you know. Two men, one armed and wearing a bulletproof vest, showed up last year at the Cross Village, Michigan Community Center. There is word of uh, that the, white, the machines are going to be wiped tomorrow. Yeah. So I was contracted. I was from like the Department of Defense contact. Newly elected elections clerk Diana Keller said it was scary. I was actually terrified, <laughs> to be honest with you. I wasn't sure who they were. Is this a legit thing I'm doing for you? Yes, yep. ma'am, it is legitimate. Okay. We've no, never put just... you in a position like that. And did I hear correctly, they said that they were on some sort of mission from the Department of Defense? Yes. I mean, that sounds like serious stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Their mission to copy 2020 election data from a voting machine in an attempt to investigate baseless claims of voter fraud. But they clearly were not from the Department of Defense. And then do you have a key for this one? Video taken during the hours long visit shows they were bumbling amateur sleuths who had no idea what they were doing. Well, it has battery. So how do we get inside of this thing? It's super thin, and the regular one's not fitting in there. They couldn't tell the back from the front, it seemed to me. It was just a bungled, stupid thing, but I was too scared to do anything. These are just two in a long line of election conspiracists who tried to gain access to election equipment in multiple states, all based on the lie that machines switched votes from Trump to Biden. I was so new to being a clerk, and I really questioned it but I was also intimidated. So at the time, I wish I would have just said, no, you can't touch any of that. Across the country, scores of brand new election officials like Keller will run voting in midterms. That's partly due to a mass exodus of election officials, both Democrats and Republicans, who've been relentlessly threatened and harassed by Trump supporters. Matt Masterson used to run election security for the Department of Homeland Security. It's not worth a county salary or state salary uh, to have the lives of you and your family threatened, and they're walking away. Roughly one in five election officials said they plan to leave before the 2024 election, with a third of those citing political attacks. They're likely to be replaced by people that don't have nearly the same experience, and we're in an environment where every mistake is an opportunity for spreaders of misinformation to further undermine confidence in the system. Back in Cross Village, Michigan, real law enforcement eventually did show up. And I came here to ex uh, just to do a forensic on it. Is that uh, part of your normal policy? Just make sure it's operating properly and everything? No, I'm, I was, I was, this is going through something else through the election integrity okay. system. And an investigation found out these two operatives were sent to Cross Village Township by a woman who claimed to be under the supervision of Trump attorney Sidney Powell and discussed voter fraud tied to data stored on a satellite owned by the Vatican City. Her name is Tara Jackson. She's not returned our calls, but in this recorded police interview said this. This is a nonpartisan issue. However, if you voted for Biden, you're an idiot. In February, she pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of disturbing the peace. No one else was charged. These guys wouldn't answer CNN's questions. Now that you've found out about the group behind this and what they were trying to prove, how do you feel about this in connection with national politics? I am sorry that it's happening to people. As far as new clerks go, take all the training you can because they train you about how to handle people in situations like that now. Yeah, but I bet you didn't think that'd be part of your job. I never did. Not in this small township. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.